Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today I have the very simple task of upgrading this awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 5 with some more RAM. And I have no idea how I'm gonna make that video 10 minutes long. So I'm, I have to do a lot of waffling around to, uh, to make it a video that is long enough to put in four blocks of memory and taking, maybe taking out some other blocks. But let's see how this goes. Uh, but I'm sure I'm gonna make it work. So let's, um, let's start with uh, shutting the server down. So this server is uh, connected to a whole lot of storage because it has been, uh, it has been chia mining for a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if this is connected to that server. Maybe it's not connected to anything at all. Huh. Okay, so maybe we have to go and connect that. Over here I have my very ugly barrier for have not having the warm and the cold air mixing up in the data sensor so I'm gonna go in there and uh, look at the cables yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> this one is a yoga mat yeah, let's go behind there and see what's in there so we have flashlight which is magnetic really smart but, uh, okay. It, it can sit so um, I use that so oh, I'm getting too fat for this so I can put the flashlight up here there and then I can kind of see what I've been what I'm doing so I know this is a blotchy cable mess and I see that the last server that I have had the monitor on is um, is this Hewlett Packard CL3100 and these two cables are the monitor and the keyboard thing so we're gonna move those M5 is this one it's a little bit stupid now we're connecting it and in a little bit I'll be disconnecting it everything so yeah uh, it's a cable mess back here I should really uh, tighten this up but yeah need the flashlight back so with a little luck that should help our signal strength it did <laughs> so now i can log into the server to shut it down but while we are in there we might just have a look at what ram we have here there it's uh, Tia mining and yeah, well, there's only 800 plots on it but yeah, I've been busy doing other stuff so mostly for fun and giggle we could just check how rich I am I am 3.38 year rich I will be laughing all the way to the bank except Tia prices has dropped through the floor more or less so let's shut this down. Are we sure we're gonna quit? We're gonna quit. It takes a little bit to shut down. So uh, while it's doing that, let's check the RAM. We have 384 gigabytes of RAM in there. I'm gonna be putting in additional, or uh, let's see, I forget what RAM is. I forget what RAM is in there, but these are 64 gigabyte blocks that we're gonna be putting in there. So uh, we could get up to about 640 gigs. Oh, let's let's see how that goes. So I thought that this server had less RAM, but um, yeah, it's better to have the RAM in the server than have it in, on the shelf. So we are gonna put it in there still. So shutting down server. Power shut down. But why are we shutting down, master? Yeah, this is planned. Oh, hardware maintenance plant. Oh, hardware installation plant. Even better, we'll use that one. Not that it makes any difference whatsoever, but yeah, we, uh, we did the right thing. And it's shutting down. And I just cut it that it's shut down. So, 
Yeah, let's see the cables on the back. So it's this server. It only has one power supply, which I should really get another one. Then it has a it has a single network connection, or is this the IMM? It's the IMM. We can take it out. Uh, well, let's un unplug the power as well. Then it has connection down to the to the dash. It is connected to that big Hewlett Packard D6000 dash down there with 70 drives. So uh, that's those two cables. I usually take one of them goes up. That's the top one, and then the other one goes down. That the bottom one, so that I don't miss them up. Then we can unplug the keyboard and the, and the screen. Put them like over here, out of the way. Then we have the 10 gigabit network connection, and we have an additional network connection. That's the IMM. So what was that? That's also a network connection and an IMM. Uh -huh. I had two IMMs connected, so this must be a network connection. And it can be an IMM, and this is the dedicated IMM. I should know things like that. Nevertheless, the server is now off, and it can be rolled out of the rack easily with a single pinky. Kind of. It's a little bit heavy. There. It's a nice long server. Let's have the cover off. On the cover here there is all uh, a lot of good information and one of the things that we are going to be using today is this RAM configuration and there is the RAM configuration if you have one processor and if you have two processors and that's the order that they go in and uh, the very best thing would be to have 12 blocks of memory or 24 blocks of memory because I have two processors in this server but I don't believe I have that many, so we're gonna be running an unbalanced configuration. I don't have that coming in there. So, I'll move this plastic thing over here. So, I see that I have six blocks of memory in here. Kind of the same sort that we're gonna be continuing with. So, I need to check the LED on. Uh, on how to put these in. Okay, this is kind of a little bit of a balancing act. Two processors, meaning that I have six blocks in here, so I have number 1, 13, 4, 16, 9, 21 is already occupied. So the blocks that I have to put in is number 12, 24, 2 and 14. So we'll do that. So the counting of RAM starts from here, so this is block number 1 and this is number 4 those should be in use and then it continues over here with 7 8 9 10 11 12 so the first one is this white one that we're going to be putting in and it uh, kind of all the white slots has to be filled up first and then you continue with the black slots so I'll put a, put a block of RAM in this one which is number 12 there and we'll go on to the very last one which is slot number 24 and we'll put a block of memory in that one this is DDR4 RAM and the RAM that I'm putting in is a little bit too fast for this server I don't believe this server can can handle this faster RAM it's a 3200 megahertz RAM and the stuff that is already in here is 2400 megahertz RAM so the next RAM we have to put in is number 2 and number 14. So number 2 is obviously down here, right there. So we'll put that in. <clears throat> and number 14. Well, this is number 13, so this one is number 14. It is also out here on the system board. They have put the numbers on. And there is also on the lid, they have also put numbers on, so you can you can see what numbers it has. So that was the RAM upgrade. Uh, I should get a compressor for the data center. 
wonder if there's uh, such a thing as a data center compressor. And even though I've made an air intake filter for the data center, stuff still gets dirty in here. So yeah, there is that. This server kind of have a cool storage setup, which is why it's a storage server right now. Down here it has the, the Lenovo M5210 storage controller, uh, which is a very nice rate controller. And that goes through this cable over to this SAS expander, which um, gives you a lot of external ports, gives you no less than I did a video on that, it's, uh, it's, it's on my channel. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one is an input port, so there's one input port and six output port. One, two, three, four, five, six, six output ports. Plus there is two output ports for external connections. So that's one input port and eight output ports for mini SAS connectors. So this output port, these two connections, they go into the front of the server. They go up here, where they go into another SAS expander, which is this one, which has eight drives on it. And then that brings the connection over here to another backplane of the server with another eight drives in front of the server. So uh, kind of a neat setup. So it has two SAS expanders, one of them this one for the drives and that one with the external expansion possibilities as well. So we're gonna put the lid back on here. Um, yeah, I did, I've done videos on both of those. So if you're interested in that, that, that is available on my channel. Yeah, I'll go behind the back and put the cables back in. So I've just connected the cables and you can see that it's blinking which means that the server is still off. It's powered but it's off. And right now it's initializing or loading the IMM secure boot uh, security features that's so that nothing can interrupt the boot or get in, in between the, the server and the operating system. I believe a lot of encryption and security stuff. It, that takes a little bit. Uh, I can power the server on right now, but it's going to be very noisy. As soon as it's done loading the IMM and stuff, when I power the server on, the IMM is in control and it will manage the fans and all sort of stuff. So it's it doesn't need to be as noisy as before that. And it's very noisy because it does not know what the temperature is before it's done with the IMM loading. Now it's moved on to something else. It's a nice little display to have here to, to get different information. Yeah, and I have a piece of tape here because I never got the CD-ROM drive for this uh, system. So um, to, to make it look just a little bit better than just a gapping hole in there, I, I put a piece of big electric tape on there. So let's power it on. You can hear it, but it's not very noisy compared to if it wasn't ready. Oh, let's have the keyboard up again. Uh, the sun is shining outside. It's great weather, which means that there is all kind of glare in the screen here. Yeah, that will do it. <laughs> That's a weird angle for me, but it looks better on the camera. Oh, it complains about something. You can see that orange light over here. System holder involved memory configuration. Oh dear, wrong memory type, that sucks, we didn't check that, but it's a very great and very typical example of something that should just take five minutes and is now going to be a long issue. Eh. Well, I took all of the RAM blocks out that I just put in, they're not going to work. Um, the ones that are in here is this one. It's a 64 gigabyte, but it's in 4D RX4. So it's kind of a 4 times 4. And this one down here is a 2RX4. They are not compatible within the same same RAM banks. If um, 
on the Intel scalable processors, um, you have to put in six blocks at a time to be in balance. Maybe if I could put in six blocks of the first type of RAM uh, in processor one and then six blocks of the other type of RAM in the second processor, I would be good to go. But I definitely can't mix them up within the first six blocks, uh, something that we might be able to test at a later date when these becomes cheaper. Okay, so even that I've taken the RAM out of it, it's still pissed at me. But it says that it has encountered no errors. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a weird one. But in server 2000 and I forget which, uh, it does see 384 gigabytes of memory again, so that is all good. Uh, it does have some Windows updates for me, so I think I'll roll those on before I'll start the cheer process, because maybe it has to reboot. So I definitely managed to, to fill up 10 minutes to make a video, but yeah, <laughs> I didn't get anywhere. But, as I always say, smart people learn from their mistakes. Brilliant people learn from other people's mistakes. And if you watch my videos, you're among those brilliant people because I make a lot of mistakes. So, if you learn something from it, please give this video a like. That helps me make even more brilliant people out there. Watch my mistake, don't have to do them. And I can only encourage that if you're gonna memory upgrade a server, make sure you have the right memory for it and that all that the memory you have gotten will mix because well if this was a production environment and I was uh, at work this would be well this would really suck might have to send some memory back and get new memory and at the moment it's really hard to get stuff so I might have been waiting months for this RAM just to figure out that it doesn't work and then have to send it back and wait months for some other RAM so yeah that would really suck but in this time, it can actually be beneficial to go to a hardware broker, which brings me to Bargain Hardware, which uh, I am affiliated with and promote from time to time. So if you buy something at Bargain Hardware, which is a hardware broker, and they have server and storage uh, stuff, they have PCs, they have laptops, they have a lot of good stuff, go to their website, bargainhardware.co.uk, and if you purchase something and use the checkout code my playhouse small letters you get 5% off of your purchase i still recommend bargain hardware they have fantastic service so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye, -bye.